okay so welcome to the query point so today we will discuss one of the query okay so query for you the query is like consider in the below employee table there are three columns employee number first name and the last name okay so write the sql query to fetch the three counts in a single syntax as the first condition is the count of employee who not having first name second count of employee who not having last name and the third count of employee who not having first and last name okay so think about this how to write the sql query in a single syntax in a single syntax okay we we need only the count of this three okay so you can observe the tables there are five rows and into that you can see there is a null uh, two nulls from the first name two nulls from the last name and common null both first and null uh, last name is having null is a one so answer should be two to one the output should be two to one okay so think about this how to write the query okay of course we need to find out the count but here is the uh, we need to write a count in a single syntax so it means there is a certain there is a, a condition so we can use the case statement here okay so particular case statement if there is a null so we can use a one otherwise uh, the count will should be one otherwise it should be zero okay so we can use that and we can use the sum okay let's move on the database so in the database you can see this is a table and the same records is having uh, while using this select star form okay so right now i will just uh, write the query here you can see the query is a select sum case statement when first name is a null then one okay if it is null then it is the count it will count as a one okay uh, why it is count as one because it will showcasing that is a null is a one count number one else zero and as count number first name similarly the sum case when last name is null then one else zero okay and as count number last name and similarly for the both case when first name is null and last name is null then one else zero and as count number the first and the last name okay from employee table okay so okay so this is the syntax actually okay we will run the query now selecting the query and running the query yeah you can see the output from the result is from the query result is like two count of number of first name is two count number last name is two and count number first and last is one okay so it means that two we already uh, you can see here there is a two null from the first name two null from the right from the last name and from first and last name there is a single null okay so the answer is here the answer is two to one okay and why we use the sum here the sum function because it will count it will sum all the null actually all the null okay because in the single rows otherwise if we are not using the sum it will it will provide the result in in row wise actually okay so that's why we need that sum here okay so uh, so this is about uh, this result this is a result final result so you can see the final result is and you can uh, note it this results okay so we will discuss more about uh, the next query in the next next point